February 2016 Spiritual Guidance by Cherokee Billy Abundance or Redundancy As we enter into February, the second month of what shows to be a spiritually powerful year, and on the heels of an intense and vibrant January, there is much in mixed energies for this February. We seem to have choices, changes, and influences coming from all points and directions. In addition, we will be in the post-shadow of the first and somewhat significant Mer Mercury retrograde of the year. Although the universal energies and our intentions are not nearly as invasive as we experienced in January, we are still ways off from a full reprieve or a time of resting without the almost constant feeling or influences that keep us engaged and aware. Our spiritual quest towards embracing the greater good continues to shape our individual journey. As we complete the task at hand, we begin to enter into the abundance that seems to be the promise or lure or depleted or stripped of that essential faith and hope. We can easily slide into redundancy where our intentions just never seem to make it across that finish line. There is still work to be done for all of us who are light workers, as this is a profound or worthy cause in progressive and often a lengthy process. Or we grow weary of the seemingly endless demands and rather than true change, we can continue to repeat what should be rather than creating such. The universal messages and lessons for February are this. The core of 2016 in February is no exception. It's about uniting our spiritual beings with the collective brotherhood and the divine, that which is recognized as the greater source or highest power. This month allows us to begin to recognize the abundance that is possible and for many the rewards, both intrinsic and external, are finally delivered. Although we are still in somewhat of an infant or beginning stage of repeating what has been sown, there is plenty to go around for those that manifested, created, and took the risk for a brighter future. So the message is much like a bonus program. The intention is to acknowledge the abundance without allowing it to be enough. It is to enjoy the slice with gratitude and thanks, but also to become the incentive for continuing as there is certainly more ahead for those of us that can keep pace with our spiritual growth and face and accept all the changes now and those that are to come. The warning of what must be avoided is the tendency to be too easily fulfilled so that our energy is influenced. Then all we can cre create becomes a repetition rather than the ongoing process it was or is meant to be. While certainly for some the biggest hurdles were managed, those outlying areas of our life and the efforts needed to keep constant contact with our higher self to continue to receive the abundance remains the core of our mission. So for February we align and harmonize with what we have so courageously shifted basking in those achievements while never losing sight that there is even greater potential waiting ahead. So we garner strength from the gifts and abundance given by embracing new challenges and shifts rather than repetition or reproduction of what has already become the past. Love and Relationships Although for many February is the month of love symbolized by the Valentine's Day holiday that falls mid-month, universally it may lack the vitality of attracting romance that January seemed to favor. February is a month of love but our universal lesson and the collective message and energy leans more towards self-love and expression and love in its most general form and display. As we work harder for and with self, 
we then build from the foundation up an unshakable core identity and rebuild the skills to trust in our own judgments, intuition, and self eval and self validations. In this month of honor self, we are literally preparing or setting the stage for attracting the highest possible energy into our lives, even if we do not see that outcome quite yet. We're also focusing on the collective love and the relationship of total acceptance of all individuals, all for one and one for all, which relies always first on that very private relationship with self. We also should be tuning in or fine-tuning our connection with the divine so that rather than being an abstract thought, it becomes a solid and key factor behind all that we do. February brings a sense of empowerment and the ability to place want over need. This activates our independence and as we have all been urged, it continues to support the release of toxic and dysfunctional relationships for any that slipped past the intensity of January or were forced to be postponed due to circumstances or avoidable situations. Abundance comes as freedom to let go and to desire that rather than feeling forced. For those involved in healthy relationships, the strength comes through steps of independence which strengthens those bonds. For those involved with somewhat new or not yet fully committed relationships, February will march at a slow but steady pace, allowing us the opportunity to be sure that intention and agenda match, and again we will be reminded that want should always replace need. So although some will meet that special person, the highlights for love in February are illuminated towards self and in preparation of finally being ready to attract that which is desired. So to sum up, February begins and ends as a month of gratification and the intention to enable us to push harder, move faster, and embody all that we as spiritual and human beings are truly capable of. It is a month of renewed self, identity, and empowerment, and enough of a glimpse into the future that we are once again engaged to continue this spiritual movement. Faith, hope, and love still are the building blocks for all that we fabricate, create, and manifest. And abundance is not just now, but also that which defines our future. We avoid redundancy by avoiding stops or allowing self in all ways to be satisfied with just this much. For where there is some, there is more, and it certainly could not be truer than in February. Remember, the kingdom of heaven is within you. Thank you for listening. This is Cherokee Billy.